Hi, I'm Owen and welcome to my latest project, Sheepdog Whistle Neural Net. The bot on the left is equipped with a camera, but this project is about the bot on the right with a microphone. I want to control this bot using whistle commands, similar to how shepherds control their sheepdogs. Here's an early neural net that understands go and stop signals. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you a bot that's been trained with five whistle commands. As always, all my code's available on GitHub repo. So first, a quick run through the hardware. So we've got a 12 volt battery being fed to a back converter, which um, provides lots of amps to our Jetson Nano. There's a microphone there as well. Um, on the bottom of the uh, chassis, the chassis 3D printed, is a Storm32 microcontroller with a couple of brushless DC motors. So this is the um, me SSHing into the Jetson Nano over Wi-Fi and starting a VMC server. So this will kind of allow me to remote desktop onto uh, the bot. And I can actually code on the Jetson Nano. So the Jetson Nano is a bit like a Raspberry Pi, um, but it's got a graphics card, so you can do some complex dual networks on it. So I've opened up my um, project and I've started uh, the uh, prediction uh, Python code. Um, so app will show a sort of visual represent representation of me whistling. So uh, you'll start to see uh, me, that's just me whistling. Uh, I've got whistle up and a whistle down and then a flat whistle and a click. Um, so let's see it in action. So I've learned a lot on this project um, and hopefully uh, this video and the GitHub repo will um, earn me an AI specialist with uh, qualification with NVIDIA. Um, but just as a sort of brief intro as to what's going on behind the scenes, we're taking the audio data and turning it into a sort of spectrogram, which is a sort of frequency heat map. So you've kind of got frequency on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, and the sort of heat of the map indicates the uh, amplitude, the loudness of the sound. Um, so that's how we're recording it. We're recording it as uh, 32 by 32 pixels because image, smaller images are quicker to train. Um, we then go on to sort of label well-known sort of whistles with either flat, up, down, click, or silence labels. Um, some of my sort of recordings uh, were bad. So I, I deleted some of my sampling images. These were typically when I just did a bad whistle or the whistle was off the frame. I then turned uh, my sort of 500 images into 20,000 images by um, shifting the images left and right and up and down. So this helps the neural net uh, generalize better. So in terms of training, um, we're using PyTorch uh, and a neural net. Um, the input layer, um, because it's reading in 32 by 32 pixels, that's 1024 nodes in the input layer. Um, the two hidden layers and the output layer has uh, five uh, nodes representing each of the labels. So we're using cross entropy um, for a loss function and the optimizer is uh, SGD. And uh, we're also using softmax. So once the neural net has been trained, uh, um, it took about 20 epochs, uh, we had uh, a well-functioning neural net so we could uh, take each of the sort of labels and like flat, up, down, silence and click and map them onto commands like go, left, right, stop and back. And we'd send these commands to uh, an Arduino Storm32 controller and that uses uh, simple FOC to, to drive the uh, two brushless DC motors. Um, so that's, that's the project. Uh, I enjoyed making it and I've learnt loads. So I think it was um, very worthwhile. Uh, so you can go to my GitHub, Owen Nero slash sheepdog whistle NN to see the code. Thank you.